Hey, so today I'm up, I'm, I'm, I'm getting on a little later than usual. I've got um, Bitless Bridle on again. And today I'm going to go out a little while on the Bitless Bridle, with the Bitless Bridle. And we'll see how she goes. She's been a bit silly. And she's not really listening right now, so I'm going to have to get her to listen. Yep. And we're not going to listen to that. We're not going to do that. We're going to stop that. Back. And relax. And she's in a mood. She doesn't want to go riding at all. And we've got the legs going again. So, I'm going to move her feet. Yep. Get her to criss crisscross those back legs. She's not happy about it. We're going to do it, whether she's happy or not. Just remember, telling her what she's doing, not not the other way around. Hup. Want those back legs crossing? There, over here, We're disengaging those hind legs. Now I've tested her earlier to see if she was sound or not. She's definitely sound. So this is just behavioural crap. Now I'm on, and I want to make sure she's listening to me without the bit. And wool, and wool, good, good job. So, I'm not going to go on for too long today, it's really hot again. Quite a warm day, I just want to take it slow. See if she'll listen when I'm going past where the gate area is. If she'll listen to me telling her we're going this way, and she does, which is great. Good girl. It's really good. That's an excellent job. Now we're going to head out and we're going to turn this direction. Just see if she's listening that way, and we do have that. And we're going to walk and stand just for a second. Drop. Got the drop. Okay, I'm going go for a little walk out. I'm just going to test, make sure we're fine with. Whoop, whoop. Now that was a bit of a bad thing that just happened because that gate just. Well, straight in on me right then. Good girl. And I'm not happy about that. It's going to walk slowly. Good girl. I actually had quite a panic then when that gate just did that. Again, another good lesson for me. Learning and asking a walk. Just for a second and drop. Good. Good girl, and walk on. My nerves are pretty crazy right now. I'm actually shaking quite badly because of that gate incident just then. Good girl. But she's actually behaving nicely. Again, she's adjusting to me and my fear. Yep, I know, I know, you want out saying it's been too long. Good chickens. Chook, chook, chooks. Because I'm not used to riding out bitless like this, I am more nervous than I would be. So I really don't know how much she was going to listen to me. So, oh, drop. Good. Good girl. Let us see that there's no bit there. She can eat grass without any drama. Right, head up. Get another person that knows, doesn't know how to read a speed limit sign. It's amazing how many people cannot count, do not know what numbers are, and do 
not know how to read a speedometer. Uncanny. Good girl. Well, she's listening to me beautifully. And I'm actually pretty happy with that. Um, it doesn't seem to be... I mean, she is slightly more... She does listen slightly better with a bit in. But that's um, probably just that she's not used to having me doing it with this. So we're going to go around the float, past the scary shed with the stuff that's blowing around and making us feel crazy. And she's actually pretty good. And she's heading over there because she's thinking, oh, I can, I've got no bit in, I can, I can chew and eat whatever I want. And this is the scary part where she's normally nervous here. So we're going to go easy, easy, easy. Now, I'm not going to kid you, um, I'm still shaky. Even though I'm pl pleased with the response I'm getting from her, I really don't feel very confident right now. So I'm going to just ask her to stop and I'm going to just try to relax myself a little bit. And, well, I just want her to stand for a second. Yep, she's decided she's going to just listen nicely. Good girl. I'm going to go around here. Let's do something that's a little harder than the usual stuff. Go over the log, maybe. Yeah, we'll go over the log. Good job. And, good girl. Maybe a bit of a trot. And the trot will be where... I'm going to discover whether or not I have her mind right now. And we'll, good girl, good girl. And she's a bit nervy, there's a cow over there. Um, not too close, but not too far away either. So, I'm thinking, well, yeah, uh, she's doing well. Yeah, she is. Doing well. Alright, we'll go over this way where everyone else is. And she's pretty much like, whoa, what are we doing? Good job. Over here towards the gate. And turning. We'll go. Under this part here, which I really don't like doing if I don't feel confident. I'm going to ask for a trot. She felt that straight away, or even actually did it. She felt it. And turn and slow. Good girl. Just walk. Walk. So she's just wanting to go a little quicker. Saying, whoa, slow down. Whoa, slow. Good girl. Great job. So, this is pretty good. Um, I've just got to get myself into a position where I'm not feeling so, so nervy about it all. She's a little bit defiant right now. Whoa, dear. And I'm trying to get her to turn this way. We've got a fly or something bothering her again. Something bothering her. Come on. I think that will do me for today. I think I'm, uh, well there. Good girl. I'm more than happy to finish up on that note. And she's more than happy to finish up on that note. So that was five minutes maybe. Probably not even that. But it was bitless. As you can see, no bits. We did pretty good with our listening. It's just one thing with this bridle's going a little bit, if I make it tighter it then pulls too much on the nose band part here which we don't want it going up too high because it causes too much pressure in the wrong spot. So I've just got to watch that. But other than that we'll just uh, call that a day for now. We might go for a little bit of a ride this afternoon in the other area when it's a bit cooler 
and um, I'm not half asleep so I can actually concentrate on what I'm doing good girl and um, that'll be good I'm just gonna ask her to now the beauty of this um, one you can take this off when you need to and leave it as a halter now she hasn't really gotten a huge sweat up just from that little ride that was really not enough to cause a problem to where we'd have to do a hosing she's a little sweaty on the top but not, nothing worth hosing for so just going to very quickly jump over here good girl no i don't want you jumping over here just me it's only for me it's like what are you doing i don't even know what i'm doing all right what am i doing i know what you want to do you want to get out of this so we're going to take your cheek strap off and i've just put myself in a stupid position there because i'm tangled between several ropes of blue knot and ready there we go she says oh thank you all right so a very quick little trial again that's the second day i've done this with her with the billis so we're going to get used to it but we're also going to keep incorporating the bit because we want to want her to be flexible with both in case we need it, that to happen um so yeah it's been a pretty good little session